thanks for the huge support you guys gave me on my last video. It felt like I was doing my usual pull-up routine, only I wasn't doing the pull-ups. I'm no fool. I immediately started to cook a new better video. A guide on how to autopilot your ship. Have you ever left your ship on an autopilot only for it to crash after one lap? Fear no more. Cause I have probably crashed a lot more than you. Wait, that doesn't sound reassuring. Fear no more. I've been crashing my ship for hours on purpose to try and figure out every little detail about it. I'm assuming the strategy will be used mostly while doing Fort of Fortune, Skeleton Fort, or Fort of the Damned. And my strategy works for all of these. At the moment, I tested it out with sloops, so if you want a guide for galleons or brigantines, comment down below. First, you adjust your speed. Try to make it so that the rope is barely touching the sails. For the wheel, you want to position the second knob after the middle one, just like this. A good reference is your character's fingers. Try making them align with the ship's ledge. Knowing how close to the island you should start your circle is the most important part. And I have found that these places are good spots. The ship always drifted off towards the west, southwest or south directions with each new loop it made. So I think it's best to start pretty close to the island on the southwest corner. If you start there, Usually the ship crashed somewhere in the northeast side or east side, but not always. If the fort has towers on the west side, it might run into those instead. And although not every collision resulted in a hole, you should always assume that it did. If for some reason you are unable to see your ship or can't figure out the likely crash site, I calculated the approximate time a ship has until it crashes, which is around 12 minutes. But I suggest you check up on it every 7 minutes or so, because the worst run I had was around that time. Setting up a timer on your phone to 7 minutes when starting the ghost spiral could help you remember to go and check on its condition. But it's best to just go and take a moment to look for other players and see what your ship is doing every few minutes. The longest run I had was 17 minutes as my ship made 4 laps around the island. However, it nearly missed a tower by the end of its second lap and got a small hole on the third lap. It goes to show that even if your ship is a legend and is still sailing on its third or fourth lap, it may have already filled up with water from a hole by that point. Skeleton ships shouldn't be able to spawn on your ship while you are chilling on the island. At least, it didn't happen to me once while I did all my tests. But watch out from those that are just passing by. One more thing, I would advise that you carry a cutlass when doing this strategy, as this will help you get back to your ship or get to a mermaid. But the forts always have armories, where you can change your weapons, just in case you forget to equip it. If the fort has cannons, you can always just shoot yourself out towards a mermaid, and the cutlass is not required. If you ever spot a player ship approaching the island while doing this strategy, you have a couple options to pick from. Option 1. Get back to your ship Drop their mast, set them on fire, and create some holes on their ship. Easier said than done. Option 2. Get back to your ship and steer it straight away from the island, while you stay behind and hide. This works even better if you have a rowboat that you can also leave on the island with you. After they open the treasury, you can try to steal their important chests. Put them in your rowboat and sail away. Option 3 is my personal favorite, but rowboat is required for this one. You load a rowboat with a keg and sail it towards them while you 
your ship is still going on its autopilot. I would advise you to restart your ship's route so that it has more time until it crashes. And maybe also adjust the wheel's knob a bit more towards the center so that the circle your ship makes is bigger. Option 4. Create your own strategy. In my opinion, this game is so fun because it rewards those who think outside the box and are creative about stealing, running or sinking the enemy. And even if your strategy fails, you can always improve it next time. Thank you for watching the video. I have already thought up another guide, so if you are interested, subscribe.